Okay, so the next two verbs we're going to learn are two verbs that we use such a lot in Spanish and it's really worth while learning these two verbs for many other contexts. And these two verbs are faltar and quedar. Okay, faltar and quedar. We've made um, videos on these two and more of the, the, these type of verbs. Okay, so faltar is to be lacking or to be missing and quedar is to, to be left, okay? So, for example, if, you, if we use the last time that we did before, so 11.47. So, obviously we can say what we said before. Son las 11 y 47 o son las 12 menos 13 minutos, ¿sí? But we can use it with the verb to be lacking or missing or to be left. So we can say in Spanish, um, 13 minutes are lacking or are left to 12. And the way we, we would say that is, faltan... 13 minutos para las 12 o quedan 13 minutos para las 12. Okay, so you can use uh, either or. Faltan, quedan. Okay. We say faltan, quedan because it's plural. In the next example we see, for example, it's 2359. 23.59. Okay, so we could say falta, falta, so no n because now it's singular, it's one minute, falta un minuto para las doce o queda un minuto para las doce. Okay, so with falta and with quedan. Of course, you can also say son las doce menos un minuto. So it's 12 minus one minute. O son las once y cincuenta y nueve minutos. Okay, so many ways to say the time. Next uh, way of saying the time, for example, if we encounter something like this, it's 22.06. Okay, so we can say son las diez y seis minutos, okay? But also we can say son las diez y cinco pasadas. So it's ten and five minutes past. So past the, the five minutes. So it could be six or seven or eight. See? Another one we could say son pasadas las diez so it's past ten so that's when it's it's not really a good way to say the time because it could be anything it could be ten past or quarter past it just means that it's past ten o'clock okay so son las diez y seis minutos o son las diez y cinco pasadas o pasadas las diez past ten and the last word we're going to learn today is casi. Casi is almost, okay? So this time, 9.55. So we can say, son las nueve y cincuenta y cinco. So nine and fifty-five. Son las diez menos cinco. So it's ten minus five minutes. Faltan o quedan cinco minutos para las diez. So five minutes are left or are missing for ten. O son casi las diez. It's almost ten. See? Casi. Almost. Okay. So I'm going to write some 
times here and then you tell me how you would say that in Spanish. Vale. So the first one. 15-15. How would you say that? Okay, if, if you can think of different ways, you can write them down. You can pause the video. So, vale, decimos son las 15 y 15. Son las 3 y cuarto and quarter. ¿Sí? Y ya está, yo creo, ¿no? Lo, lo típico. Ok, so next one. 18.40 Son las 18 y 40, obviamente. Son las 7 menos 20. So 20 to 7. So 7 minus 20. What about with faltar and quedar? So it would be faltan o quedan. 20 minutos para las 7. ¿Sí? Two more. 14.32. Okay. So, son las 2 y 32. Son las 2 y media pasadas. O son casi las 2 menos 25. Y la última, ok, this one. Ok, so 1307, last one. Pues es, es, remember, es for one. Es la 1 y 7. O es la 1 y 5. Pasadas. ¿Sí? Ok, well, I hope I've helped you with the time and telling the time in Spanish. If you liked this video, please uh, hit the like button because that really helps me and this can reach other people and help them as well. Muchas gracias, nos vamos y nos vemos. Adiós.